maroon pants from Victoria's Secret. And just a regular t-shirt. Workout. I always walk to the gym on less. It's raining now. It's a beautiful day. Kind of cloudy now, but it was sunny before. Yeah, double workout. This is not a cream of a wheat box. Bag. My family sent me a Trader Joe's package upon request. I got the Harvest tea. Mm -mm. Perfect for fall. Got. I already opened it, by the way. Pumpkin flavored JoJo's. The fall you get pasta. I wish I was able to get the pasta sauce with it, but that's a no-go shipping can up. Pumpkin tortilla chips, although it feels all squished. Get out of here, Fluffy. Got the pumpkin bread, although I don't have a pumpkin bread pan. How am I gonna cook it? I didn't think about that. Onions, pumpkin, cranberry crisp. And last but not least, but it is the last. Pumpkin pancake, waffle mix. All of the things. Pumpkin. A little bit of Trader Joe's in Japan. Spooky season. Huh? What? You, what? And a lawnmower. Yeah, that's a key cat. Good morning, everyone. There's always a toy playing in the background. <laughs> it is the next day. It's hard for me to do like one day in a life as a mom because Devin, my husband, he gets home around three o'clock. I do love this, <laughs> these holes that Devin filled up. <laughs> anyway, I'm a squirrel that gets distracted. My husband gets home at three o'clock and then like I completely forget about filming or whatever because like we walk Shiva, my dog, we start dinner and that's pretty much the evening. We do Leo's like night routine and stuff. Then I completely forget. So this is gonna be a combination of two days. I am in the middle of doing one of my favorite YouTubers. I have two favorite YouTubers, Sam Oscar and Kaylin Nicholson. I'm doing a yoga flow. I have my yoga mats out, although Leo keeps running away. Let's continue the vlog. I am drinking my autumn harvest tea from Trader Joe's. It is so good. Mm actually cold now. Here's my Trader Joe bag. Everything that my family got, I put it inside the bag. Just to pretend like I went to Trader Joe's. I was like joking with my husband and he totally didn't get the joke. This is the outfit of the day. I never got to finish. Leo is wild today. He is turned. So we're going to the commissary. Buy some food that I have no idea what I'm going to buy because Leo wouldn't let me meal plan. Anyway, wearing this sweater. It has a cute, like, laced back. Wearing leggings. 
and a headband and let's get to it. All right guys, it's later on in the day. You know, when you have a toddler, you just forget things. I forgot English muffins. I forgot coconut milk for the meal I was planning to make tonight. It's like, I cannot think with having a toddler. And I even wrote a list. I even wrote a list. He was throwing his toys out of his like thing in the commissary. It's just been a day. It's, it's been one of those mommy days. He just unplugged outlets, like the plugs. Like how do you get your kid to not unplug things when your house is empty and nothing is covering them? Come here, that's your choo-choo. Just give me a treat. I'm, besides like being on top of him all the time. All right, so for my videos this month, they're gonna be on my phone because I ship my camera with my household goods. I really feel like I just need to get my life together, <laughs> plan out my life so that things like this don't happen. So anyway, I am trying out HelloFresh Japan style. Hmm. Uh, how exciting is that? So I just got it. They literally just rang the door. So I'm gonna unbox it with you guys. So these are the two things. It's salmon and like a mushroom pasta. Oh, I got two orders of that. There's one and then two. And then three. So this is both the salmon and this is the pasta. And they have this big, big freezer pack, which you probably spend a ton of money on. No. Oh, no, this has the salmon in it. Oh, that's really funny. So it comes with four pieces of the salmon and then the pantry cream. <laughs> That's really funny. And then there's the ice pack. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in the fridge and let that settle and we'll probably make the salmon tonight. It's like a salmon eggplant with like green beans and potatoes. Yeah, and then this mushroom one, it has like cheese, like a Dijon mustard and mushrooms. Anyway, so there's that. If you live in Misawa, you want a coupon code, let me know. Also, I could do it like online, like refer a friend with an email if I don't have any more coupon codes. That's an option and I love, obviously this is not sponsored, but I love HelloFresh because it comes with the recipe. You could keep the recipe and it comes with everything prepped. All you have to do is, you know, cook it. So that's really great. I figured we'd try it since we're like in the midst of like PCSing and everything is just crazy. I don't have like all my kitchen appliances, like pots and stuff to like make things and different things like that. Wait for Dev to get home so that I could start cooking the meal. Taking off the backsplash. It's actually really easy. I'll show you how easy it is. There's a plane going in the back. Ready? This peeling stick is so easy. Well, because it's pile. This is a lot harder than taking off the backdrop on my hand. It's like really tight. Yeah, you see the kitty cat? Hi guys, okay, so it's about, I think a week later since I, from the last clip, I am on my way to go study. Devin has off Friday and Monday, I think it's Columbus weekend. Each day I'm gonna go and study at like the cafe for a couple hours maybe like two to three hours i don't have that much material with me because i had to ship everything i wanted to share with you guys some information about the unaccompanied and how it went and then like some pcs tips for that i haven't gotten the time to do that so anyway let's get right into it for the unaccompanied baggage you get a certain amount of weight and how it goes it depends on what rank your spouse is how many dependents your spouse has so it goes like that too also i heard 
heard that if you don't use all your weight for household goods, they'll give you some weight over. You can't quote me on that. I don't know if that's true. We hit about 972. I believe we had a thousand pounds. So we hit 972 pounds. So close. Holy cow. I had a lot of kitchen stuff left over that I didn't realize like going through like all my jars and stuff that had like food in it. So I wish I actually put it in household goods. But anyway, it went really well. It was about two hours long. My uh, PCS tip for you guys. A lot of people ask like, what can you put in your unaccompanied baggage? And I would just like really use your common sense. Simple things. You can't put like any big furniture in there. If I've heard that you could do like Japanese style furniture because it's tiny, but like not like everything. Like my friend had a little uh, floor table with chairs that it could fold and stuff. So she had that. They're, like so many people ask the people who've been through it, but call FMO. Those are the ones that handle it and ask them what you can put in and put not. So they're not going to take liquids that are open. They'll take liquids that are closed. For example, my bathroom stuff, they wouldn't take any like of my like facial stuff unless it was closed and hasn't been open. So I had to take some of that back. They also wouldn't take essential oils. So if you have totes that have your holiday stuff in it or clothes, I wink wink Kylie suggest hiding it in those totes. They're not going to go through them. I had about 60 essential oils and I was not shipping and paying for it. My husband was like, we'll just pay for it. I was like, no. So while they weren't looking, I just stuffed it in into my Christmas tote that had clothes because I already had them in Ziploc bags. That's a lot of oils to be shipping. I just didn't want to ship them. So that's a tip for you. But household goods, you couldn't have any liquids. Hiding it in those totes. They're not going to go through them. Alcohol, you have to have like a list. So if you want to ship alcohol in your household goods, it has to be closed. Brand, bo brand new bottles. Well, not brand new, but just closed bottles. It doesn't matter the age. They'll give you an alcohol list and you have to claim it and their they paperwork has to go with your spouse however that works with them the people who are taking your stuff and also whoever else i don't know exactly who but there is paperwork for alcohol that you have to do beforehand before household goods come so keep that in mind my husband got the paperwork and wrote all the uh, the alcohols like each name and how much alcohol was in it and he handed in the paperwork early and then you have to have the paperwork when household goods come so back to the unaccompanied baggage is really easy two hours to just give you like an example of what we ship remember not everybody has a thousand pounds it depends on the rank and how many dependents for example my friend only has 650 pounds so keep an eye on that be careful because you'll get charged if you go over we had two vacuums we had two gorilla cases one had holiday stuff i forget what the other one had we had two totes we had a lot of clothes kitchen stuff and we also packed his playstation we packed battery packs they took that like um tool battery packs but they did not take my ipad so it must be a certain battery that they wouldn't take so they didn't take my battery they took my dsr dslr uh camera my canon camera they took that that's why I'm filming mostly on my phone. They put just so beware. They're going to put everything in big boxes. And I was really getting anxiety because they're mixing like office stuff with kitchen stuff. It's going to be crazy. I'll show you some pictures. But yeah, be prepared for that. So if you can get like they're going to open up bigger boxes and take that stuff out. Because it's like they're literally playing a game of Tetris. And they're, you see them. They take stuff out and they try to fix it to see if it will fit. And then they will put it back in. So keep Keep in mind, if you want certain things to be organized, keep it in like a small box or try to use a couple of totes because they're not going to open the totes. They're just going to put them in these big, big boxes. These boxes are very good boxes. They are like stapled and they double tape everything. And don't like be so nervous uh, that your stuff will get damaged because it's going on an airplane. Household goods get shipped. So there's the, the difference in that. But I also wanted to say I ha was shipping with unaccompanied my uh, degrees, my acupuncture degree, my massage degree, um, my diplomas and stuff like that, and pictures. I had pictures with that were already like wrapped and like had bubble wrap in there, like my wedding pictures, Leo's uh, newborn pictures and stuff like that. They did put it in a big box and I wish I put that in a tote. They It wasn't like squished any with it anywhere or anything, but I didn't like how they packed it. I had, we did have them open the box so I could see what it looked like. I wasn't like too happy about it my future self will buy a tote to just specifically for that because you never know if things move they they really pack it tight anyway that's 
the unaccompanied baggage i just wanted to let you guys know like a couple tips and stuff so if you want more like high value things or more delicate fragile things get totes and put it in there pay attention to how much weight that you have you really have to delegate that because with the household goods and stuff so that is a little bit of that if you have any questions leave it down below just you know keep that in mind you don't want to go over yeah so i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed and i'm gonna go study